Bill for 21, Peter Smith. Number 25, Ray O'Brien. Number 30, Tyler Steele. Number 42, Ford Burke. And number 50, Camille White. And the coach for the Tigers is Jason Austin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle. Alongside me is Thomas Heaney III, bringing to you the contest between the Hampton Sydney Tigers and the Averett University Cougars here in men's lacrosse. Hampton Sydney comes into this contest away matchup for the Tigers. 92 record here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium. Daily Field, a Averett University coming into this matchup. 2-8 and eight on the year so far. So two teams definitely hungry here in conference in the ODAC. Heaney, what are you expecting today in the game? Yes, Shane, you know, we talk about Averett and their slow start. They started 0-4, but they've won two games out of the last six, so definitely a little bit more improvement. Um, one of the things that I think could play a factor here on the field, and like we've seen, is the rain. I mean, it's been coming down all day here in Danville, and it's still coming down pretty steadily. So definitely be curious to see how that affects the playing field and, you know, if the players can keep their traction and stuff like that. But... Hampton Sydney, like you mentioned, I mean nine and two so far this season, uh, but Averett one and one in conference as well. So despite the two and eight start, they're still one and one in conference and looking to have a positive record in the ODAC after today. Yeah, Avery University coming off of a road loss against Virginia Wesleyan, the Marlins at Virginia Wesleyan, looking like their last game was about eleven days ago. So it's been a while. The Cougars might be a little hungry here, especially on the home turf tonight. Face off here for the Cougars. It's going to be number 26, Cameron Shattuck, not able to pick that one up for the Cougars as the Tigers are on the run here. 
actually, Cougars and Shattuck try to pick it up early. Tigers playing it now around the goal. You see Bly back there in goal for Hampton Sydney. You've got to watch for sure as the Cougars try to attack him and put some goals up early. Just trying to feel out the Cougars defense so far. Tigers not too eager to get on the score sheet. A lot of time left. A little threatening there. Good save there by Prutzman. Getting his feet wet early in this matchup. Starting off that Cougars defense hot as the Tigers threatened early, but now it's going to be Calvin Beavers on the right side of the field. Good pass into the inside there. Now D'Amico going to have a foul called here, though, going to go in favor of the Tigers as they gain possession. Yeah, Shane, that's what we're going to have to see from Prutzman all day long. If the Cougars want to pull an upset here, Prutzman's got to be a brick wall back there for the Avert defense. Yeah, Tigers really strong on the year so far. 157 goals mm. to their opponents, 97 goals. Yep. So Prutzman needs to be a big part of a victory here if the Cougars want to walk away successful. A little bit of mishandlement there, but going to pick up the ground balls. Number 25 there, that's Ray O'Brien for the Tigers. Swinging it over to White. Now on the wing, cuts in, can't find it. Now 25 there, that was going to be O'Brien with a goal, but another save there by Prutzman. In the X now, number 12, that's going to be Michael Leon running around, can't find it though, playing it outside. Cutting in yet again was White. Good defense here by the Cougars. Luis Martinez as well right there, trying to get the ground ball. As Prutzman's going to pick that one up, and now the Cougars are on the run here. A little bit of an advantage. They can keep it clean. It's Ethan Zach on the run, plays it down to number one. That's Tigran Cisse. Now Powers in the X. Can't find much. Trying to create some space of his own here. Just going to play it off to number 11. That's Emmett Wood. Good ball movement here by the Cougars so far. And still plenty of time, 50 seconds left on the shot clock. Cougars look calm on the ball as Taft yep. gets that one to Cisse. Cisse looking to make a cut. Going to get destroyed in the middle there. Gets it off. Looks like that one's going to go out of bounds, though. So Tigers do pick up possession here. Not a bad attack so far from this Cougars offense. Yeah, I'm happy you mentioned that because even though the Cougars didn't get a shot on net there, it's still a positive possession because they're able to keep time of possession and you know, keep the ball moving around, gain that confidence. A little bit of a scrum for that one there. Tigers going to come away with it. It's number 33 there for the Tigers. It's Gaines Weiss. Comes off the pitch there. Tigers trying to work something around in the attack. Find this one over to number 45. That's Trey Black. And now going to go back over. Tigers working on something. Cutting, spinning, mm. getting the shot, and whiffing. So no luck for the Tigers there on yet another shot attempt. But they're going to have possession in the X. It's a nice spin move there for the shot. Just got to put it on net there for a chance at a goal. Now Leon trying to make something happen here. Leon getting a shot of his own. Another miss there from the Tigers. See Leon shake his head after that shot. He had a good look at the net, just airmailed it a little bit. Yeah, back to back good looks there from the Tigers offense. See what third time's gonna do. Usually third time's a charm. See if luck is on the side of the Cougars here. Oh. And another missed shot there. That was number 10. That was Davis Mack. Just teeing off right now are the Tigers, but you can't score if you can't put it on net. So gotta get a little bit better shot attempts here. As that pass goes wide, almost picking up the ground ball. There's Peterson, a fight for it in the middle. Tiger on the pitch. And that one's going to go in favor of the Tigers here. Clock's going. Time is rolling. Tigers are trying to make something happen here in the middle. Big shot and in the net. Number on that one, that's number 10, Davis Mack, the sophomore out of Richmond, Virginia, finding pay dirt here early on in the matchup. Yeah, the persistence there from Mack, able to just get it in towards the crease 
And, I mean, that was about the fifth shot attempt that we saw in the last minute or so. And, you know, if Hampton City's able to just stay consistent right there, they'll be able to put up a lot of goals. Cougars defense definitely got to tighten up a little bit. Yeah, with so much happening, I mean, back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back yep. shots, I mean, they're bound to find one at a certain point. But Shavik now winning that faceoff for the Cougars. Number four for the Cougars. D'Amico gets ripped apart in midfield. Is that one still alive? Ground ball picked up. Tigers defense has it. Playing a long ball here over to number 42. That's going to be Ford Burke. Burke looking for it, finding it around the 40-yard line. Looks like it's going to be number seven picking that one up, Jack Duffy. A good burst of speed there. Getting it behind the net there. Good attack there from the Tigers, finding a goal yet again. It's Ray O'Brien finding the second goal of the matchup here. Tigers up 2-0 against the Cougars. Haynes really set up that attempt right there, Shane, as he was able to burst through the Cougars' defense and pass it right behind the X. And just a nice display of passing. And like you said, 2-0 right now, hampton Sydney Cougars got to find something. A little bit of ball movement there is what found it for the Tigers here as the faceoff goes in the way of the Tigers. And they're off and running. Burke oh finds the pass. And Pertzman not able to find it there. That's number 12, Michael Leone, getting on the score sheet. Tigers now up 3-0 against the Cougars. Yeah, I mean, to use a baseball term, that was a lacrosse term as well. It was ground ball, ground ball shot right there in towards the net. That's one of the hardest shots to save your Pertzman right there as it bounces right back off the turf. These face-offs are becoming crucial, Shane, as well. I mean, the Tigers are able to get possession. It seems like they're able to get a good look every time. Tigers now trying to make something happen here after yet another faceoff as there will be a flag thrown. Looks like some substitutions for both teams here. Cougars playing a little soft here on defense and trying to force the Tigers into making a mistake maybe. So far the Tigers have had a lot of success with their passes here. So see what they're able to do on defense as a yet another shot there from the Tigers saved by Prutzman. Let's see what that flag is still hanging around on the ground there. Should get word pretty soon, but it looks like Hampton City's going to retain possession here. Looks like number 10, Ty Pearson comes onto the pitch here for the Cougars. It's going to be a slashing on Avert. So let's see what the Hampton City Tigers can do here with the man, man advantage. Tigers trying to work something around. Oh. That one off the post It sounded like, I want to say, that was number 25. That was Ray O'Brien on the shot. Not able to find it there, but now the Tigers on the attack once again here. That one's going to be flicked around and on the ground. See who's going to scoop this one up. It's O'Brien. O'Brien tries to find it and cannot here. Cougars going to gain possession of this one here. Is number 23, Beavers, will have it. Just under nine minutes to go here in the first quarter. Playing that one off to Prutzman in net. Prutzman, no one around him. A lot of area to work with. Gets that pass off. Ooh. Pearson struggling with it. Ball's going to be on the ground. Pearson trying to steamroll through the defense, trying to chop at it, not able to pick it up. Now Tigers on the attack. Burke's going to have it. Burke's going to lay it off. And the Tigers free net there. Finding a goal yet again is Michael Leone. Tigers going up by a score of 4 to nothing here with 8 minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. Yeah, Coach Havoc's not going to like that one when he goes back into the film room. I mean, Cougars there, just a turnover in their own zone, and then it left Prutzman with a two-on-one, and you know, it's a tough save to make if you're a goaltender right there, and the Cougars now down 4 to nothing, like you said, Shane. So, yeah, Cougars with a big deficit here as the Tigers pick up yet another faceoff, and Burke wanted a shot of his own there but can't find it. Wide right, so it's going to be Tigers' possession again, and Leone. Now the Tigers working it around yet again against this Cougars defense. 
on the run here behind the X, finding it and getting the shot off over Prutzman. That was number 25. That's Ray O'Brien picking up a goal for the Tigers. Five to nothing here against the Cougars so far. As we will have a timeout, and we'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network after the break. Welcome back to the Avid Sports Network. My name is Shane Mickle. Alongside me is Thomas Heaney III, bringing to you the contest between the Avid University Cougars and the Hampton Sydney Tigers. With 7 minutes and 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter, the Tigers lead at 5 to nothing here against the Cougars. Yeah, and if you're just joining us, missed a little bit of the action. Leon with two goals and two assists. O'Brien with two goals and Mack with a goal. All to the tune of a 5 nothing now 6 nothing lead for Hampton Sydney. O'Brien finding his third goal of the night there, right in the face of Prutzman. Picking up a goal there for the Tigers, making it 6 nothing now in favor of Hampton Sydney. Yeah, O'Brien now with the hat trick, and he's responsible for three of the six goals so far in just, I mean, half of a quarter. So, really impressive start here for Hampton Sydney, and the Cougars just trying to search for something. Get some momentum. Winning his face off could be huge. Yeah, Cougars definitely want to make something happen here down so much. Facing a lot of adversity. See what they're able to do here against such a talented squad so far that the Tigers are showing to be. Yeah, like you said, Shane, very talented squad. Obviously coming into this one at 9-2 and two on the year. Trying to move to 10-2. and two. Cougars trying to spoil and pull an upset, but they got to change a little something here in the first quarter. So now Tigers yet again working it around on the attack, seeing what they're able to get through, trying to make something happen. Finding a pass here and the shot off the post. Well, this one's going to bounce to Cissé who picks that one up. And now Cissé on the run beats got his man. Got a chance. Cissé in the middle laying that one off to number 22, Taft. But that one's going to go in favor of the Tigers after the errant pass there. Tough break for Avert there after the shot went off of the post and all the way back to the 50-yard line, but couldn't convert right back to Hampton Sydney. So Blythe plays that big pass over. The Tigers now yet again on the attack. Playing this one around the X now are the Tigers. Now inside, Pritzman, mm. big save, but the rebound will go the way of Burke on that one, picking up his first goal of the matchup. Tigers now take the lead here against the Cougars by a score of 7 to nothing through nine minutes of play. Yeah, and I mentioned on one of those shots that the Tigers had for a goal that a ground ball shot is one of the hardest ones to save. Well, you see another one right there. Those rebounds are really hard to control if you're 
Prutzman, he gets the save, but just a tough bounce back out. And now, like you said, Hampton City now with a touchdown lead. So Tigers on the forefront here now. Big lead for them. Cougars trying to play spoiler and make a mount a comeback here. On the run there is going to be number 47. That's Hank Van Ness Good surrounded defense. by some Cougars there. So that one's now going to go in favor of the Cougars as Beavers running across the middle looking for a pass. Laying this one wide to Cisse. Cisse is going to pick this one up and now be on the run here. Passing it over to Wood. Wood finds it back at himself now. Taft now a lot of space for himself. One man in front of him. Just going to lay it off, though, to Emmett Wood. This is good, though, if you're the Cougars. Just keep this possession going. Still 45 seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, a lot to do here with 45 seconds left. A lot to find as well. Trying to make something happen. Wood trying to work around. Lay a pass off to the right side. Looking for something in the middle, but not able to pick it up. This one looks like it's going to go against Hampton Sydney. Got a couple people on the pitch here. Coach Havoc's going to check on his player in Wood. Coach Havoc in his first year here at Averett and looking to change the culture. And like I talked about before, a team started 0-4 but has won two of their last six games. So talk about a little bit of the improvement for sure for Coach Havoc's squad. So a really good opportunity right here for the Cougars, Shane, getting the possession around the 15-yard line following that penalty. Yeah, with the advantage here, definitely a lot of the Cougars might be able to do on the attack, especially with the shot clock going back to 60 seconds now. Just trying to play around the world here. Now Taft at the top, landed over to Hobbs. Hobbs now back with it again, over to Taft. Ball movement, baby. Is moving this ball around the top of this defense over to Powers. Now back over to Wood. Wood's going to play to Taft. Now on that right side. Everybody Cisse. touching it. <laughs> Cisse looking to cut in. Not able to find something behind the back attempt from Cisse. Not able to find Powers. Now the Tigers' defense. A lot of pressure being displayed here by this Cougars offense. And that one's going to go out of bounds. So the Cougars now with possession here. Taft will be the man with the ball in his stick. Cougars tightening up their defense there. Almost like a full court press to use a basketball term. So now the Cougars yet again going to play around the world with his Cisse. Now it's going to go to Hobbs. Back to Taft. Now Hobbs. Hobbs going to pass to Zach. Zach over to Cisse. Tigers Cisse playing. to Zach. Tigers playing very soft defense right here, just letting the Cougars pass it around. Letting that shot clock dwindle down here as Taft tries to make something happen. Now back to Zach. Now it's going to go over to Wood. On the right side is Powers. Going to be a slash attempt there as Powers does hit the deck. Gets back up, trying to find it here. Ball's bouncing around pinball style. As Wood picks that one up, and now another passing display. Here is Taft. Rips it over the net. Fun to watch that one load up on the effort. Wanted it to hit top bins, but sailing right over on the Cougars' first shot of the night. So now Taft going to give that one to Hobbs, and now Wood finding powers. Now back to Wood. Mm. A lot of passing being displayed by the Cougars here in the recent minutes as they've been able to since they've had a lot of possession. Cisse, ball in his stick, makes a spin and a juke. Trying to get around the net here. Another spin attempt from Cisse. Cisse trying to find one, and that one's going to be saved there by Blythe. So that one's going to go over to number 19 here, Jack Hall. Cougars getting two shots 
one on net and then one just over the net from Taft, but definitely an improvement from what we've seen early in this first quarter as we just dip under the 230 mark. Estee plays that one behind the net to Helgott. Tigers on the attack. Seems like it's been a minute since that's been the case mm. as Prutzman gets where he needed to be, but that one's going to go wide of the net. So Tigers on the attack yet again here. Tigers working on this defense for the Cougars. Number 45 for the Tigers finding the pass there. Trey Black passing it to the X. Now Health got on the attack, rushing Prutzman. And that one, no shot there. As the Cougars' defense plays strong, Hobbs gets it over to Prutzman in net. Got behind. Passed over to Hobbs. Looking to make a run. Beats his man. Takes one in the ankle at the same time. Time running down here. This could be the last possession, possibly. Taft now on a dead sprint here to the net. Finds a pass to Powers. Powers can't get between the wickets there. That one goes out of bounds now. Tigers do pick up possession. You know, and although the Cougars haven't scored, how much better these last five minutes have been in the first quarter for the Cougars as opposed to the first eight. Yeah, Cougars seem to have found their footing here in this matchup against the Tigers Looking very strong with the passing. And their defense so far holding the Tigers scoreless in the last couple minutes is now an on the run here. Hmm. Is number two here, that's Jake Bell. Bell's gonna give it up behind the X. Now Health got once again with it. Playing it around. Number eight now picking it up. That's gonna be Griff Ray. In the middle shot attempt deflected and in. Jake Bell on the score sheet for the Tigers. They're going to go up by a score of 8 to nothing with 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. Pressman just facing all types of adversity in net right now. We saw the ground ball shot that went through. We saw a rebound that went through, and right there, the deflection. Those are really tough shots to save if you're a goaltender. It's almost impossible to stop a deflection when you put yourself in good position, and then the ball goes the other way. So now yet another face-off here in the matchup. It's going to be Shattuck for the Cougars. But the Tigers are able to win that one there. It's Griff Ray on the run with it here. Gives it up, trying to find number 23 for the Tigers. But now Cougars will have possession of it here. How frustrating is that, chain for the Cougars to have time of possession for about four or five minutes, not get a goal, and then the Tigers get it for like 40 seconds, and then they score. Yeah, efficiency at its finest there from the Tigers. Scoring in the little bit of time they had is number 18 there. It's going to be Casey Peterson not able to pick that one up. Now Tigers on the attack. Health got 10 seconds. Going to find the net here as Peterson is letting him have it. Ray gets up from that one. And the shot there going to be deflected and saved by Pritzman to end. The first quarter of play. My name is Shane Mickle. Alongside me, Thomas Heaney III. We'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network after the break.
Back here on the Avery Sports Network, my name is Shane Mickle. Alongside me is Thomas Heaney the third, coming to you with the Avery University men's lacrosse team facing off against the Hampton Sydney lacrosse team as Cameron Pritchman makes a great save here to start off the defensive effort here for the Cougars as they find themselves down eight to nothing here in the second quarter. Yeah, for just joining us, it's been all Hampton Sydney, like the scoreboard says, but. You know, part of that is the 22 to three shot difference in favor of the Tigers. It's a bit, it's been a big deal. 13 shots on goal as well. So Prutzman having to deal with a lot back there at net. Yeah, Tigers been on the offensive all night, but the Cougars been picking it up recently on the offensive end with a lot of possession and displays of passing, leading to shot attempts but not finding the back of the net yet here as the Tigers are on the attack. It's going to be number eight here for the Tigers. That's Griff Ray on the attack, but going to be scooped up by number 19 for the Cougars. Ethan Zach trying to make something happen, gets it over to Prutzman. You, know, you talked about too, Shane, about the improvement from the Cougars as we went on in the first quarter. Only three shots in the first quarter, but all three of them came within the last five minutes. That, one, that one's going to be flared out there. To number 12 for the Cougars on the attack, Connor Boyd. Yeah, like you were saying, he needed this offensive threat from the Cougars so far. have just been getting better and better mm -hmm. over the games, looking to improve here in the second quarter and put one in the back of the net and show some life against the Tigers. Have a good chance here, maybe. On the run here is Hobbs trying to make something happen, trying to find powers behind the net. That one's going to go off of his stick. Tough break right there. You got to convert that when you're close to the crease in an eight nothing game. Definitely something Coach Havoc's going to look at later. Goalie for the Tigers finding it now. That's Blythe. Sorry, Will Palmer in goal now for the Tigers. As they're on the attack here, once again, number 24, it's going to be Filipovic. Tigers now have the ball in the X, trying to make something happen in the middle with Filipovic. A lot of congestion down there at the net. Prutzman able to corral it. Cougars trying to start a fast break here maybe as Hampton City presses up. Prutzman with a behind-the-back attempt there. A little, little bit of desperation from him. As that one's going to be scooped up by number 37 here, Quinn Seif, and he's on the run as the Cougars now have it. But the ball's on the ground trying to thread the needle there was number 77, Tyler Green. Green trying to pick up a ground ball here, but the Tigers run away with it. Now it's going to be... Trey Black giving it up to number 23. It's going to be Ryan Eastay. Back to Black here on the right side of the pitch, making a run to the X. Got a whistle. For some reason, the Cougars will now gain possession. We'll take it. <laughs> Not too keen on the cross here in the announcer's box, but having fun with it. <laughs> We're rolling. As Beaver's not able to pick that one up, so it's going to go for the Tigers in number 24, Philip Hovitz. Finding an open man here. Right side of the pitch, shot ripped. Number eight, Griff Ray. Picking up a goal here, making it 9 to nothing in favor of the Tigers. 11.32 to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, for Ray, that's going to be his first goal of the day, so joining the party of the other five Hampton City Tigers to score so far. And just continuing the success so far for Hampton Sydney as we're at the 11.32 mark here. Another face-off here for you as Hampton Sydney has controlled them so far, only losing one. And they'll get another one right there, right back into action on the offensive side. So now the Tigers on the attack here. Threatening against the Cougars yet again. Filipovic in the X, giving it up. Number 35 there, that was Stuart Kyle now making a run in. 
in the X now. It's going to be 35. Kyle with Ooh. it yet again. Makes a move and finds the right side. The exact spot. Prusman wasn't there is where the shot went. Good effort there by the Tigers. Now a double-digit lead for them here in the second quarter. 10-0 in favor of hampton Sydney. Yeah, that shimmy inside was really nice. I mean, it's an unstoppable shot right there for Prutzman to save. The Cougars' defense, I thought, did a pretty good job at denying the ball inside the crease right there, but just a better move. Now Morphis on the faceoff for the Cougars. Not able to pick it up, but it's going to be scooped up here by number 12. It's Connor Boyd making a run at midfield and a spin mm. getting open. Oh. Another, yet another spin, keeping possession, trying to kick the ball, using everything but his stick to keep this Cougars attack going. Big hit there from number four, Giovanni D'Amico in the midfield. Tigers on the attack yet again here. Past two, about the 40-yard line is going to be Trey Black with possession. Now going to number 40, Jacob Messinger. Right side of the pitch, number 35, Stuart Kyle. Now in the X, the Tigers are everywhere with this ball movement so far against the Cougars. Run being made in the box, cutting out, cutting in, finding passes all around to keep it going. 33 seconds on the shot clock here. Good defense, though, by the Cougars right now, Shane. Yeah, very long possession due to this Cougars defense. But now, ball being played around, looking like they're trying to make something happen. A mm. little bit of a cutback falling down, not able to find something. Pass around, shot in, wide. Flag on the field, presumably against the Cougars. Looks like number 19, Ethan Zach, coming off the pitch here for the Cougars. I'm curious here if the sh yeah the shot clock's going to reset, so Tigers are going to have a fresh 60 seconds with the man advantage right now, possibly get their 11th goal of the day. Cougars got to stay strong and keep playing good defense, though. Slashing on number 19, Ethan Zach for the Cougars. And now the Tigers with the advantage, looking to play around. Cutting in and shot wide right there from number 10, Davis Mack, trying to find another goal here tonight, but not able to find the pay dirt. Yep, Mack with a goal already, looking for his second on that one. Just a little bit too hard past the net, wide right. Tigers now on the attack yet again, a shot and in the net there. That was number eight for the Tigers, Griff Ray. Making it 11 to nothing in favor of the Tigers with nine minutes and 13 seconds left in the second quarter of play. Yep, Griff Ray there getting his second goal in a matter of five minutes here to start the second quarter. Things really opening up here for the Tigers. Yeah, Cougars offense definitely needs to find something here if they want to make this a game even early on. Looking very good on the offensive end to end the first quarter. Need to find that form as Morphus wins that faceoff here for the Cougars. Plays a little pass there to D'Amico. D'Amico flicks that one over for Martinez. Martinez playing it to Beavers. Nice win there by Morphus. I mean, the Cougars, that's their second faceoff win of the day so far. As this one will now go in possession of the Tigers, though, after the errant pass. Shimmy's around and beats Cisse there on the right side of the field. Tigers now in the X here against the Cougars. Over to number 41 for the Tigers. It's going to be Hoing. Now the shot there, Pritzman might have gotten a piece of that one from Messinger. Tigers keeping possession here. Still plenty of time, over 50 seconds on the shot clock. Black playing that one over to Jake Bell. Jake nope. Bell looks to rip a shot and does, finding another goal here for the Tigers. 
12 to nothing lead for them here in the second quarter of play. Pure dominance from this Tigers offense here in the first half against the Cougars. You know, Bell finds upper decky there. Two goals now so far for him. And the Tigers 12 nothing lead here. Cougars not finding that time of possession like they saw at the end of the first quarter. Got to turn things around here. Cougars going to give that face-off effort there once again by Shattuck. But the Tigers trying to win it. That one's going to get called and go in possession of the Cougars here. Beavers picking up some space, looking to make something happen here. Press defense here from the Tigers, not allowing Beavers any space. A little bit of confusion here as it looks like Diamico will pick this one up. Yeah, not sure what the stoppage in play is right now, but looks like the or excuse me, looks like the Cougars are gonna have possession here and they blow the whistle and right back into play we go. Diamico almost able to do something there with that one. Gets back on the other side of the pitch. Cougars trying to make something happen here. Giving this one up to Hobbs. Hobbs dead sprint here into the middle. Giving it up to Cisse. Cisse not able to find the inside here. Spin move. Another oh. one followed by it. And the stick leaves his hands there. Great effort on the defensive Side of the ball from the Tigers. Now trying to turn it into some offense here. Muhlenberg all over that one, Shane. Got the stick away from Cisse. I think that's just an accurate representation of how the Tigers have played defense so far. Yeah, I thought he was going to be able to find the back yep. of the net on that one. Looks like there was some sunlight, but great defense came and played spoiler on that one. Now Tigers on the attack yet again here behind the X, number 41. That's Hoeing. Trying to make something happen. Can't get the shot. And the other shot there is going to get deflected. So now the Cougars with, with possession here. Laying this one off to Martinez on the right side of the pitch. Martinez flicking it over. Switching play here is the Cougars' defense. Number 18 Ooh. there. That was Casey Peterson who was looking for 33. Darian Gibbs to no avail. Tough one there. We've seen a couple of those passes that haven't hit the sticks and dropping those balls. Definitely tough for the Cougars. Tigers trying to make something happen with the time that's left here in the second quarter. Up 12 but can never be too satisfied here. Oh, another half of play after this. Looks like Hoeing is just going to hold it a little bit behind the X here. Working on Gibbs, mm. trying to find it on Prutzman. But Candace, he scoops that one up. Playing it over to Peterson on the left side of the pitch. It's under six minutes to go here in the first half. And this is right around the time that the Cougars turned it around in the first quarter. Let's see if they can do the same thing. Hobbs over to Gibbs now. Back to Hobbs in the middle of the pitch. Sees a man cutting, tries to make a break for it. Hobbs now to Cisse behind the net. Cisse trying to make something happen, almost identical. Finds a pass, and the shot there for the Cougars. Number 93, Brayton Powers finds a goal off the assist by Tigran Cisse. Score is going to be in favor of the Hampton City Tigers 12 to 1 here in the second quarter as the Cougars find their first bit of offense. Yeah, something about the last 6 minutes of both quarters. Powers powering his way in towards the net and into the crease and a nice shot. That might be something for the Cougars to look at here as we head down the stretch in this first half, but definitely something positive, Shane. Yeah, 5:30 left on the clock here in the second half, so Cougars trying to do as much as they can with what they're able to and what the Tigers will give them as well as number 57 on the run here for the Tigers. Not on the roster. 
promise you, he does exist, though. <laughs> was on the pitch. He matters. But now the Tigers on a run here on the offensive side of the ball. Jake Bell now getting defended by some Cougars there. Now right side of the pitch. Now 40 for the Tigers. It's going to be Messinger. Getting a little bit of space, making a little bit of a run. Here is Bell on the right side, getting it to the X. The X looks for the pass. Now 41 to 45. Now over back to number 10 here. It's going to be Davis Mack played back to the X. Now over to 41. That's going to be Hoeing. 45 yet again. Trey Black giving this one up to Jake Bell. Jake Bell, third time making the same run here. Cougars try to play defense a little better on it. That one's going to go over to Hoeing. Hoeing over to Black. Ten seconds. Sorry, not Black, actually, with that one. Messinger. Messinger has six seconds on the clock here, trying to make something happen. Ball on the ground. Messinger, oh. highlight play from him. Shot clock winding down. The Cougars played good defense there for all but one second. He's able to get the buzzer beater to go. Nice shot and an answer for the Tigers. So Tigers not going to allow back-to-back -back points here from the Cougars as they find pay dirt yet again, 13 to 1 in favor of Hampton Sydney here at Daly Field, Frank R. Campbell Stadium. Just 4-11 to go in the first half. Let's see if the Cougars have an answer now. Face off. Looking for it is Shattuck. Shattuck trying to flick it back. That one's going to roll a little bit. But Cougars will gain possession here. Shattuck around his own 40-yard line. Playing this one up to number 19. And a flag thrown here. Zach does a great job of beating his man. Is drawing the foul as well as the yep. Tigers will indeed now have to go a man down. The Cougars are going to have a power play here on their own side of the field. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Would be a great time for the Cougars to net their second goal of the night and build some momentum here in the second quarter. See what Ethan Zach's able to start us off with. Zach plays a pass over to Hobbs, who goes with it to Taff. Now back to Taff, over to Hobbs. Hobbs going to go to Zach with it. Left side of the pitch, that was Cissé. Now it's going to find its way to Taft. Taft looking to make something happen. Players rotating. Hobbs, nothing for him. Taft over to the right, Ooh. and that shot will go wide from Wood. It's a nice setup there by the Cougars with the man advantage. Just couldn't hit the net. Accurate shot there, probably. Yeah. Finds the Cougars with another point on the scoreboard as the ball movement could only keep us guessing here in the press box. It's now the goalie on the run with it, the number 13. Oh, what it's a play. Connor McCullen now in net here for the Tigers. As that one's going to be played over to number 24. It's Filipovic on the right side of the pitch. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Tigers looking for more. Cougars need to be able to defend here against the Tigers attack that's been present all night. Going into the second half, facing a lot of adversity. Definitely want to be able to create something here as the Tigers. And that might be it as Prutzman with a huge save there. Keeping it scoreless on this possession for the Tigers. Shot clock at 52. Charging in there. Tigers to keep it alive. Good run there from Messinger. Now the shot saved by Prutzman. Number 32 on the shot. Jacob Renaud not able to find it for the Tigers. Big pass playing, being played over to Beavers there. Now Beavers looking. Zach now middle of the pitch playing it up. Good defense here by the Tigers. Let's see who gets this ground ball. Zach not able to win that one there. A 
the whistle. Looks like the referees are going to talk about this. Let's see what this is about. Looks like a couple of subs are going to come on. And we'll see. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a penalty, possibly. Yeah, it looks like number 45 there. What do you got there, Shane? Trey Black. So now we'll go in possession of the Cougars here. It's going to be number 33, Darion Gibbs, starting us off around his own 40-yard line. Under two minutes to go here. Let's see if the Cougars can spark some magic. So we head to the end of the half. Showing off the speed there. Beats three different Tigers. And keeping possession of it. Flicks this one over to Wood. Wood going to give it up now to Hobbs. Hobbs trying to make a run. Get the screen by Wood. Hobbs playing it over to Taft on the right side of the pitch. Taft back to Wood. Hobbs now behind over to Cisse in the X. Gets a step on a defender. Pass over Wood. Not able to find a great effort yet again. But Wood not another accurate shot. So now Cougars picking it up behind the X now with a minute 12 left on the clock. It's going to be Powers. Powers passes that one off. Cisse now. Cisse trying to make something happen. Ground ball. Will be picked up there by Wood. Wood rips that one. The shot clock was winding down there. The Cougars didn't get a reset after that first shot, so only about a couple seconds to work with there. Had to put up a desperation shot. So that pass being played out to midfield now. Tigers trying to make something happen quick with not much left on the clock. Shot clock should outweigh the game clock here. Yeah, this could be the last possession if they want to. Let's see if they hold it. They could be just passing it around here. So now Black trying to make something happen, laying it off behind the X. Switching hands there behind it. Now it's going to be Jake Bell once again here trying to cut in. And oh. Prutzman at his feet, scooped up by Prutzman. 16 seconds left oh. on the clock as that one's given up and a goal there for the Tigers. Hunter Eppelman getting on the scoreboard for the Tigers, sending it to 14-1 to with 13 seconds left to go here in the second quarter of play. Yeah, that's a tough break there for the Cougars. Pressman makes a terrific save, but just a careless pass in towards the middle of the field and a turnover, and it sets up a breakaway shot. Eppelman there, a good job to just finish that one through. Just 13 seconds left to go now before we head to the break. So Morphus now in the middle on the faceoff. Can't scoop that one up, or can the Cougars, as a lot of sticks are flying around on that side of the pitch. Ground ball will be scooped up, and we will. Yeah, there was a problem with the clock. It wasn't going during play. So we will go to a half with the score. Ham Sydney, 14, Avery University, 1. My name is Shane Mickle. Alongside me, Thomas Heaney III. We'll be right back on the Avery Sports Network after the break. Alpha Health. Alpha Health has the heart care you need to stay healthy. As a Duke Health affiliate in heart care, they are backed by the latest Duke guidelines and research, providing our community with enhanced quality health care. Whether it's cardiac screening or emergency heart care at their accredited chest pain center, they provide quality treatment close to home. Sova Health, heart care to live your healthiest life. Visit online at sovahealth.com slash heart.
If I missed. And welcome back, everybody, to the Averett Sports Network for the second half of play between Averett here in Hampton, Sydney, as Hampton, Sydney leads this one 14 to 1. As getting ready, the Cougars definitely need to switch things up. Shane, what do you think needs to change up for Averett as we head into the second half, down by 13? Yeah, Cougars need to have a little more threatening of an offense here. Been very passive, a lot of passes, not getting many shots off. But the shots they have gotten off have been good, just very wide. But the Tigers do pick up first blood here in the second half as that one's going to go in the back of the net as the Tigers now are up by a score of 15-1 to here against the Avery University Cougars. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who scored that one, but we'll get that name for you in just a second. But... 15 to 1 now and only 15 seconds in the second half so get some stats for you here as the Cougars now trail by 14. I'll have another face off for you here in just a second. So yeah back to your question Heaney just a little bit more of a offensive presence and mm -hmm. getting some more shots off I mean we've seen some good ones out of Wood and Taft throughout the night so just getting them the ball as much as possible and seeing what they're able to do with it because this Tigers offense has been pressing all night. Yep, they've been tough as they have possession here and flip inside. So Hampton Sydney back on your right side. The rain coming down a little bit steady here. As the Tigers now gain possession, pass it back up to the top there. And towards the middle, 47 seconds left on the shot clock as Get a little bit closer towards the crease, back behind the X. Nice pass inside, but it goes awry. And picked back up there by the Tigers. So that's number 23 there. He stay. Yeah, it looks like the Tigers have been doing that all night, just getting behind the X and then making that small pass instead of trying to make these long ones. There's a long shot there that's saved by Prutzman as a nice pass by Black. Cougars are able to regain possession here, and this will be their first offensive possession of the second half. When you look at how many attempts the Tigers' offense has had so far, shots-wise, it yeah. shows how good pretzman has been playing this game for the Cougars as a big effort there from him. Yep, as the Hail Mary pass back goes to the goalie, and we'll be running all the way back down the field here with the Tigers. Bring it back behind the X here, taking their time. Pretty heavy lead here is so far for this one O'Brien with three goals leading the way with a hat trick then Bell Ray Leon Mack Kyle Messing Hoeing and then Burke all with goals respectfully this one goes all the way towards the net blocked by Prutzman and a rebound picked up there by Hampton Sydney right bit, back we go with Black a little bit of a broken play there from the Tigers that they almost made work Oh, good defense here, but a nice spin move inside, and the shot goes up and hits the post. Ricochets and picked up there by the Cougars. Showing the elusiveness there, a little bit of a weird ricochet. So now it's going to be the Cougars with possession. Up and back with Beavers. Beavers slings it all the way down to the 45-yard line, and it's picked off there by the Tigers, moving it back up over towards the right side of the field here and slowing it down there as there's Owing there, taking it and passing it back up. It's going to be Jake Bell. Bell with a couple of goals in this one as well as he moves it in towards the crease. But he's cut off by the Cougars defense and back up to the 40-yard line. That Cougars defense as well has been doing their best to try and make these plays not work for the Tigers as they've been doing so much throughout the night. It's forcing the Cougars defense to throw everything in the kitchen sink at them. Yep, as you see a flag goes down on the field there. So this looks like it's going to be against Hampton Sydney, but now we have a four on two, and that pass goes awry as well. We'll see what the flag is, but Aver is spoiling a good chance there to possibly put one in the back of the net. Yeah, Zach catching an absolute BB there in the middle of the field, trying to create a fast break there, but the errant pass. Cougars still in possession of it, though, after that. It's going to be Eppelman picking up the slash, and now a man advantage for Averett, as you see there. It's going to be Hobbs passing it around. Hobbs back up to the top. There's Ethan Zach into the game as well. Definitely the time you want to make something happen when you have the advantage. 
Yep, Hobbs back over and towards the middle here. This shot's going to go up and blocked. Nice save there, but a rebound. Ground ball attempt picked up by Hampton Sydney, and now they're off and running. Here come the Tigers now, moving it all the way past the 30-yard line, back to the 10 now. And now slowed up there as he stay. Passing it back behind the X at the 11-minute mark. Van Ness went coast to coast for the Tigers there, creating this chance. So now Povitz there as well with the ball. Tigers offense back at work that we've seen all night here. Yep, and they're going to take their time here. 50 seconds to go on the shot clock. No rush from the Tigers offense. With this big of a lead, you have the ability to make some mistakes here and try and make the Cougars capitalize off of them as well. Yep, well said as Messinger there passes it back up to the top and they're just chilling up there at the 40 yard line. Now moving it inside. See there O'Brien. That one goes past the net and out of play. Looks like the Tigers will keep possession though as you see. Philip Hovis with the ball on the X now. Philip Hovis now, stutter step, moves inside, spin move. Good defense though by the Cougars. Zach doing everything he can there, as well as Protzman doing his best to stay in position. He stay there, getting the shot up, but a little bit too much over the net. Tigers keeping possession here. Philip Hovis now, that pass goes way, way off the stick there. Good pressure being applied by that Cougars defense, making that mistake happen from the Tigers. Third quarter here, 10.03. Hampton Sydney leading this one 15 to 1 as you see Hoeing there with the ball and trying to make something happen. And he's going to throw this one all the way back behind the net with the shot clock expiring. So it'll be shot clock violation and the Cougars will regain possession. So great defensive effort there by the Cougars. So a shot clock ca violation causing that. Shows the extra bit of energy and effort they put in on that uh, possession from the Tigers. Yep, and just like that, though, Shane, the ball is loose. And, ooh, a hit stick there by the Cougars' defense. And let's see who comes up with this ball. Looks like it's going to go back to Hampton, Sydney, I believe. No, nope, it's Aver. Aver now on the left side. Back behind the X area here. Trying to move it around. 50 seconds on the shot clock. A little bit closer towards the crease here. This one back up to the top here in Hobbs. Hobbs stutter steps, gets a pick there by Shattuck. Still taking their time, 30 seconds to go here. Cougars trying to make something happen on the offensive side of things, trying to play through Taft and Wood. Yeah, but a nice spin move here, trying to get it in towards the crease, back up to the top of the 30-yard line. Hobbs now trying to make something happen. Only 15 seconds to go here. This one is going to be pushed a little bit more inside, back up to the top to Shattuck. Shattuck now in towards the net, goes past. Shot clock dwindling all the way down. And it'll go right back over to the Tigers with a fresh shot clock there. So nice defense by the Tigers. Spoiling, spoiling that offensive possession by the Cougars. So right back we go here with a long pass all the way across the field, trying to keep it in there, but... Hail Mary effort, mm -hmm. no good on that attempt. No Aaron Rodgers <laughs> exactly. is the Hampton Sydney goalie there. Yep, that one goes out of play, and the Cougars regaining possession now. 8.20 to go in the third quarter. Pass back over to Prutzman. Cougar is going to rely on Prutzman to try and keep this game scoreless from this point on to allow his team to make a comeback here. Yeah, Prutzman there with a Hail Mary pass of his own right there, but it again doesn't connect and we'll go right back over with Hampton Sydney here as you see Hoeing there moving it over and oh my goodness, that's going to draw a flag right there. Big hit there from the Cougars when the man was in the air. So, Yeah, that was a hit stick right there. And referee's going to talk about this here. Hampton Sydney looks to retain possession.
Crutzman back behind net. Fresh, fresh shot clock here for the Tigers as well, so definitely an opportunity to cause more damage. Right back in action we go here. And over to Ray. Tigers trying to make something happen yet again, displaying their ball movement. Yep, Wagner trying to work it inside, but it's going to be on the ground and possibly another penalty here. And then another fresh shot clock to work with here for the Tigers. So they're really controlling the time of possession here as we head down the stretch. Wagner passing it back in over to Duffy. Back over to Wagner. Wagner moving it inside. This shot here is going to be deflected. Griff Ray looking for his own hat trick, but comes up empty. Yeah, many Tigers with goals to their name tonight. A lot trying to get more on the stat sheet. Cougars trying to play spoiler here in the contest with not much time left to go. Prutzman makes that save, though. Nice save there by Prutzman on the shot by, shot by Alex Wagner. Wagner couldn't find the back of the net. Instead, found Prutzman's stick, so he's able to get it. Under seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Prutzman launches one all the way towards the 30-yard line. Ground ball. Let's see who can pick it up if Averick can. They might have a possession, and they do. Excuse me, they don't. It's going to be picked up there by Hampton Sydney. Still loose, though. Nobody really having possession yet, as now Aver does. Looks like Emmett Wood on that one, and another flag. Might have been a tripping call for in the favor of the Cougars here, so keeping this ball safe is Cisse. Yep, just like you see in hockey as well, at taking this free position right here if they can. 60 seconds to go on the shot clock. And moving it around here, Ethan Zach. Zach pushing the issue here and towards the crease. Passing it back over to Powers. Powers has the lone Cougars goal so far in this one. And getting it into Wood. Wood now with a good chance, but he loses it, and it goes out of play. Wood really wanted to find the back of the net there. Been disappointed all night. Looked like his best chance there, but couldn't find it. Great save by the Tigers goalie there. And the rain's still pouring down here. Frank R. Campbell Stadium. 60 second shot clock. Cougars with possession. And down by 14. Connor Taft now taking the ball and passing it in. Back over to Hobbs. Cougars trying to make something happen here on the offensive end with five minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And Hobbs and Taft at the top of the key here for the Cougars. Hobbs with possession. Passes it back over to the left. There's Wood. Powers now inside. Good shot attempt there, but it's going to be blocked and denying Averett once again. Now Taft almost had that one there. Trying to sneak it in and hit the dirt as well. No, he's going to be hungry for one here. Good pass inside there, but it goes awry. And another Averett turnover in their own zone. Right back we go here. As see Eastay now moving it in. Ryan Eastay, the ball on his stick, taking his time. And throwing it back behind the X here. Prutzman trying to stay strong. He's had a lot of shots on net in this one and giving up 15 so far. Still in the game, trying to keep the Tigers at bay. Moving it inside here, back behind the X. Number 24, Filipovis. Giving the Tigers some space to be able to work here are the Cougars on this effort. See if they're going to press them at any point. Messinger there passing it off to the left. Peterson. Now a shot attempt and a nice block there by Prutzman. Yeah, Peterson got beat by his man and just allowed the Tigers to be able to rip one there. Prutzman, though, keeping them off of the score sheet there. A fresh shot clock here for the Tigers, and that's going to be crucial here is... He's winding down Jacob Messinger here, moving it inside in a possible shot attempt as he gets in towards the crease, but cut off by the Cougars defense. And back we go to the top here. Moving it over is Kyle. Tigers still trying to make something happen here. Let's see there, Stuart Kyle trying to pass it back up to the top. It's going to be saved. Just 24 seconds left to go on the shot clock here. Messinger back behind the net. 
moving it around. Only 16 seconds to work with here, so desperation time for the Tigers to try to get a shot off before the shot clock violation. Got lucky with it earlier in the matchup. Have a shot there, can't get it off, and now the Cougars pick that one up. So how about the Cougars' defense there, Shane, staying strong with a couple of possessions going down to the shot clock right there. Yeah, I'd need to be able to stay strong on the offensive side of the things to make this a contest against the Tigers. Messinger now picking it back up, and a turnover by the Cougars gives the Tigers another offensive possession here as we dip under the 330 mark. Tigers look calm on the ball as they have throughout the whole night, especially now with such a big lead against the Cougars. Yep, just keep moving it around here and a nice spin move inside there and the shot's going to go up. And the shot is going to go down. Another goal there for Hampton Sydney, their 16th of the night. We'll get the name of the player, just scored that goal, but gets, by, gets past Prutzman there. And now a 15 goal advantage at the 314 mark for Hampton Sydney. That'll lead us to another face off here. It's going to be Trey Black, his first goal of the night and of the season. So this faceoff is going to be picked up here by the Cougars and a little three-on-two opportunity, and it goes past the goaltender there and a nice chance. But again, the Cougars just cannot capitalize on these offensive possessions. So Hampton Sydney now taking it back, following the Trey Black goal. First of the season for him. Tigers been strong on the ball throughout the night. As many have seen the back of the net and staying strong here in the third quarter. Yep, the Tigers scored with 15 seconds into the third quarter. We're scoreless up until 317 mark, but get their second goal of the quarter here. Back we go with Griff Ray looking for a hat trick of his own. Ray trying to find a man to pass it to. Is swarmed there by the Cougars defense. Casey Peterson there doing a nice job denying the ball. So it was 217 left here in the third quarter. See what both teams were able to do on both sides of the ball as the Tigers. A little bit of miscommunication there on that pass attempt. This one's going to go back over to East Day. East Day now trying to move it in. Nice spin move there, trying to look for a centering pass, but denied by Avert. Just 16 seconds to go here on the shot clock. East Day moves it inside. Good pass, good shot, and a goal. And a nice shot there by Stuart Kyle. And the junior puts it in at the 147 mark. 17 to 1 now, Tigers. Great shot there by Kyle, getting his feet wet yet again tonight. Second goal of the night. For him, if I'm correct. So that ground ball was picked up there by Kyle and was able to flush that one in. So 17 goals now for Hampton Sydney. We'll have another face off here for you in just a second at the 147 mark. Averett still looking for their first goal of the quarter. Haven't seen it go down yet, but that Stuart Kyle goal is assisted by Ryan Eastay. And Kyle's second goal of the season. So right back in action. We go here over towards the crease. Wasting no time are the Tigers. It's Martinez holding his ground firmly there. As Beavers loses his stick. This one's bouncing around the pitch yet again. Yep, taking their sweet time are the Tigers. And a nice comfortable lead. Getting it back over and towards the middle. Alex Wagner now going with the left hand. Going to switch it up, throw it over to Messinger. Messinger is going to fire one and miss everything there. It's going to go all the way down into the woods. A little bit of a cutting action on that with their wide left, but fun to watch nonetheless. Yeah, that one had a lot of velocity behind it. I know you know a lot about velocity, Shane, your sport of baseball. <laughs> Less than a minute left of play here. See what the Tigers are able to do on the offensive end. Only 30 seconds, though, on the shot clock. Yep, Jacob Messinger, that shot attempt there, still hanging around at the top of the key, and that one's going to be fired in and a goal. 
And a nice shot there from Bly, the goaltender. So Bly started the game at net, and he gets a goal right there from about 25 yards out. So the Hampton Sydney bench goes crazy for that one, his first goal of the night. Yeah, very good goal there from Bly, showing the athleticism on that attempt. Yeah, so Bly, I mean, coming into the game, saving saving shots and right there putting in a shot. So 18-1 to 1 now with 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. So Cody Morfitt's down there for the faceoff. And a whistle, and this one is going to swing back over to the Cougs. Morphus face off, get off from him there. Brings on Emmett Wood. Retreating here on that effort, though, are the Cougars. Now just 30 seconds to work with here as Casey Peterson is going to be swarmed by a couple of Tigers as East Day was all over him. And I'm not quite sure why the Tigers have the ball, but they do. Not a lacrosse expert, but... Definitely something happened there, and now they'll have it with 25 seconds to go. 18 to 1 lead now. East Day passing it behind the X. Definitely looking to make this the last possession and hopefully find the back of the net on it as well are the Tigers. Yeah, they're going to hold for last shot here as they should as it's 10 seconds to go now. Moving it inside, getting a burst of speed, getting through all of the Cougars right there and can't get it in. But another chance here for East Day. Gets his helmet ripped off and a flag at the buzzer, so... That's going to be a penalty on the Cougars as East Day got his head twisted around there. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter. And definitely a penalty to open up the fourth quarter. So my name is Thomas Heaney III. Alongside me is Shane Mickle. We'll be right back with you on the Averitt Sports Network for the fourth, for the fourth quarter. And welcome back, everybody, to the Averett Sports Network. Thomas Heaney III along with Shane Mickle as we get ready for the fourth quarter of play between the Hampton Sydney Tigers and the Averett University Cougars. As we saw there, the penalty at the end of the third quarter. So Hampton Sydney with the man advantage to start on the left side of your screen. Hampton Sydney been dominant all night on all ends of the ball. Not allowing the Cougars to really find the back of the net other than once and been putting the ball in the back of the net more than once, so finding themselves with a lead here tonight. Wagner passing it along with Mack. Mack moving it in, and a nice defensive play there by the Cougars to deny the shot. It's going to be a ground ball picked up there by Prutzman, so chance for the Tigers to score early, but they're denied. So this ground ball here going to be picked up by somebody. Luis Martinez made an effort for it, now picked up by Peterson, but he's swarmed in a double team and goes out of play. Health got there, passing it back over to Wagner. A 
Wagner now back over, and a shot here goes over towards the gym. That Davis ball's Mack. gone. Yeah, not going to get that ball back. <laughs> that one goes all the way in towards the woods. Very wide effort there through the net, though, so had the velocity to find the back of the net as well. Speaking of trying to find the back of the net there, another shot ripped off, but to no avail hitting the advertisements over down near the wall. Still going to be Hampton Sydney's ball, though. Prude's been getting eaten up today in net, but also showing strong as well. And he saves under his belt. You know, Pretzman, you know, a lot of shots on net. As you see right there, speaking of, another save there by Prutzman, standing strong. You know, 18 goals by Hampton Sydney, but you also, also have to take into account the amount of shots on net as well. Here come the Cougars. Ethan Zach now passing it over to Connor Taff. Cougars looking for their second goal of the day. Braden Powers had one in the second. Trying to read the defense here and make something happen. Now Wood with it. Yep, Wood now back to Taff. Taff, I mean, look at this swarming defense by Hampton Sydney, not allowing an inch. See there, Hobbs setting a screen for Taff. Now Taff's going to set a screen for Hobbs. Taff now, 33 seconds to work with on the shot clock as Hampton Sydney not allowing an inch. Taff now swarmed and picked up there by Hampton Sydney. And the goaltender will get it, try to pass it out. Yeah, this Hampton Sydney bench feeling it now, and that extra bit of oomph is really boding well for their squad. Eisenberg now moving it over. And out of play, so the Cougars now will get it back. And trying to find something here, down 17 with 12 minutes to go, and maybe get some momentum going into their next game as well. This one is going to be passed over towards the middle, and can't hit the stick there. It's going to be a turnover, and now Hampton Sydney's running. Here come the Tigers. Philip Hovis pass inside, and the shot is good. Jacob Messinger there, 6'5", the freshman. Finding the back of the net, and 18, or excuse me, 19 goals now for Hampton Sydney. Errant pass from Peterson started that one not able. Sorry, Pearson started that one not able to get back to his spot, so left the hole in the defense, and the Tigers found it. So a nice shot there by the Tigers, and Hoeing there. Excuse me, Landon Hoeing there with the shot. It was an assist by Drew. Filipovis, his sixth goal of the season. So, like you talked about there, the turnover leading to the goal, but now Averett with possession, but a flag is thrown. And let's see what this is about. It could be against Averett. We'll get the call for you here in just a second as it actually looks like Averett's going to retain possession. I think I heard Slash from down on the field. Averett here with the man advantage. With 12 minutes and 14 seconds left. Definitely want to make something happen here with not much time left to go in the game. Just apply a little bit of pressure against this Tigers defense. Ethan Zach passing it back over to Taff. Zach to Taff. Moving it around here is Cisse. Cisse back over to Zach. Zach fires it, but it's going to be saved. And picked up there by the Tigers. Moving it back over. And the Cougars there with a good chance, though. Just come, just came up empty. Back to the left side of your screen here. Trying to find somebody, passing it back up top. It's going to be John James into the game for Hampton Sydney. James a junior, five ten out of Berlin, Maryland. Now just kind of walking it around. Killing some time off the clock, letting fresh legs get on the field for the Tigers here. Landon Hoeing there, as you see, with his second goal of the day, possessing the ball, passing it back over to Messinger. Messinger back over to the right side of the field. Tigers trying to still make some things happen on offense. No lead is too much for them here tonight. Stuart Kyle, as we saw him have his first goal of the season. This shot's going to go up, and it's going to be hit off of Prutzman. 
but a rebound. No fresh shot clock, just 10 seconds to work with here. Shot clock dwindling down here as Messinger moves it inside, fires a shot, and somebody loses their stick there, but the ball ends up in Prutzman's stick, and he's able to get it for a fresh shot clock for the Cougars. A little bit of a scrum there in the middle of that shot, sent the stick flying, but now Cougars just working it around here. Pretzman looking for somebody as he gets closer and closer, fires it over towards the net and can be picked up there by the goaltender and not the goaltender there, defenseman, excuse me. Oh my goodness, what a hit there. Connor Boyd laying down the hammer. And now the Cougars are on off and running with a fresh start here. It's gonna be picked up. Ground ball, Hampton Sydney. Still loose. Nobody has possession just yet. Big scrum in the middle, ball bouncing all around. Like you said, yeah, Connor Boyd laying the big hit on the goalie. A little bit of a play there from the freshman. Yeah, Connor Boyd there for playing Madden. He definitely flicked the right stick up. So back we go here with the Tigers behind the X, moving it around, getting close and picked up there by Prutzman. So. Prutzman showing a little bit here in the fourth quarter of play with a couple of nice saves. A little bit of spidey senses from Prutzman there on that save. Keeping his head on a swivel for sure as this one is going to go up and picked up there by Ty Pearson. Pearson's pass out of bounds to Wood. Wood not able to make a play on that one. So back we go here with the Tigers. Just under nine minutes to go here at Frank Gar Campbell Stadium. Cougars trail in this one, 19 to one. The one goal is by Braden Powers in the second quarter. But since then, nothing for Averett. Messinger there, passing it back up to the top. Plays we've seen from the Tigers all night long, getting that one to the X, short pass over to the top, and then the shot ripped. But no avail there on that effort. Still applying pressure, though, is this Tigers offense. Yeah, it's interesting you said that, Shane. I was just going to touch on that. I mean, even with the big lead here, hampton Sydney still applying pressure, not really draining that shot clock down as Trey Black now in possession of it. No, definitely hampton Sydney still hungry here in this matchup against the Cougars. Want to run it up from the looks of it and eight minutes left, so... Plenty of time to do it unless this Cougars defense holds. Yep, and right back into play we go here with number 28, Alex Wagner. Wagner moving it along to the right side of your screen. And over end, centering pass inside, but it's going to be picked off there by the Cougars. And a flag as Luis Martinez, excuse me, Casey Peterson picked it up. And we'll see what the penalty is here. Looks like it might go against Averett. Coach Habicht down there at the field talking to his squad. And it looks like this one's going to go against Averett. So it's going to be a man advantage here for Hampton Sydney at the 7.59 mark. And Jacob Messinger here. Start and play here now. Tigers with possession, working it around. Trying to work it towards the crease here is Alex Wagner. Back over to Messinger, and it's going to be shot. And pass the net there. So the Tigers will regain possession here following the shot attempt. And just an onslaught here of shots on net. Pressman trying to stay strong. Pass inside, but too much there. As it'll be another goal for Hampton Sydney. It'll be number one, Landon Hoeing, with his third goal of the evening. Short pass, short pass played in. By the Tigers and right through the wickets of Prutzman yet again. So it's going to be 19-1. to Like you just mentioned, Heaney, 7.31 left to go. And this Tigers squad is not taking their foot off the gas pedal. Tigers now with a big, big, beat, big lead here. As we head down the stretch and Hoeing with his third goal. He joins O'Brien with a hat trick. All in route to a 20-1 to lead. As we get ready for this faceoff. It's going to be Cody Morphus back down there. Only six second half points allowed by this Cougars defense so far. So 
really just comes down to that first half and allowing so much trouble to happen. Mm -hmm. See D'Amico on the receiving end of that slash that led to the power play for Hampton Sydney. Now just kind of draining the clock down. Jake Bell. Back behind the net. 55 seconds on the shot clock. It's going to be passed up to Landon Hoeing. Jake Bell now pressed by Boyd, but it's going to be passed back up to the top. Messinger now spin move inside, but cut off nicely by the Cougars' defense. You could tell he was loading up for a shot there, but had to pull it back after the defense was played oh. by the Cougars. And another hit there by Boyd. And Connor Boyd woke up. <laughs> Looking to hit, and there's another hit right there and a flag thrown. Chose violence this morning and <laughs> clean on the hit, but then went for a slash after the fact out of frustration. So, yep, so Connor Boyd looks like, yeah, he's going to pick up another penalty there. Still showing effort here. As we dip under seven minutes to go. Delivering a couple of nice hits, but that one called a penalty. Yep, so that'll be Boyd's second slash in the fourth quarter. And another man advantage for Hampton City and a chance to go up by 20. See what the Tigers are able to do with it here. Now man advantage for them on the penalty here. Jake Bell moving it back towards the right side. Bell's going to pass it over Messinger. Messinger's going to fire and find the back of the net. Excuse me, not finding the back of the net. Cameron Prutzman there is able to pick it up. And so keeps the Tigers there at 20. It's going to be a ground ball picked up here by the Tigers and regained possession. Issei keeps it. Nice save there by Prutzman. Fooled me. Looked like it was back behind the net. Pearson with a great job of scrumming that one away, but the Tigers now somehow find possession as that pass goes errant. And now the Cougars will have possession. So Avert now with just six minutes to work with and trying to find their second goal of the evening. It's been a tough game for them, but, you know, we talk about it in these games that get out of hand. The last few minutes do matter as we, you know, head into the season here, trying to pick up some momentum, look at something positive. This one is going to be launched all the way down towards the goalpost there and out of play. Hampton Sydney now regains possession. Not the worst play in the world by Pearson there. Just switch and play, but the Tigers so deadly get that ball on the offensive so easily. Jake Bell passing it in towards the middle, and that one, oh my gosh. Hits off of the post and right into the Cougars bench. Rocket there by Bell off the post. Lucky it didn't hurt anybody yeah. off the ricochet. Yeah, that one was launched, and the exit velo over 100 there, and the Cougars take the ball right back. Beavers plays that one down to the goalie. Nowhere left for him to go with that one. Look at Hampton Sydney here, still pressing up, trying to deny the Cougars the ball, and they do so right there. The clock will wind here, 75 seconds shot clock, five minutes to go here in the game. And Hampton Sydney looking for their 21st goal and a possible 20 goal win. This one moving it back behind the net over to Messinger. Jake Bell now passing it up in top and picked up there again by Prutzman. So Prutzman really showing some flashes here in the fourth quarter. A couple of nice saves. Been solid for the Cougars all night, but really having some fun with it here in the fourth quarter is Prutzman. Has seen a lot of turmoil throughout the game. A lot of goals on the back of the net, but also a lot of goals saved by him as well. Yeah, and correction, actually, Shane, it's going to be Andrew Gwynn back in net, and Gwynn has been coming up here in the fourth quarter making a couple really nice plays. So the sophomore coming in for Pretzman, actually, at a fair lawn, Virginia. So the Cougars now regain possession. Four minutes to go in the fourth quarter, trying to find their second goal of the evening. Get something positive here at the end. Shattuck 
Moving it along. Juke moves inside towards the right, trying to get towards the crease, and he does. Shattuck pushes it inside. And it's going to draw a penalty. I don't think he scored that goal. The clock stops, and Shattuck took a lick inside the crease, and could be a penalty shot. Not quite sure. Let's see what the referees say. See what's going to happen here. As Cisse had something to say about that effort. It's going to go against Hampton Sydney. It's just a question of what it is and if the Cougars are going to get a man advantage here. And it looks like they will. So let's see where the ball goes here. You got Ethan Zach down there and Cisse with it. Cisse is going to pass it up to Zach. And the Cougars now with 60 seconds to work with. Taff. Hobbs up top. So Brooks Taylor there is going to get an illegal body check. Two minutes for the Cougars here to work with, and this is a great opportunity, Shane, to possibly put one in the back of the net. Yeah, see what they're able to do here is almost finding the pass after the great ball movement display by the Cougars, but now Tigers on the run. So now the Tigers now working the man down on the offensive end. And now just kind of chewing the clock up. Landon hoeing with three goals in this one, having the ball passing it back behind the X. It's number 24, Drew Filipovis. Hampton Sydney now just kind of draining it and walking it around. Pass back over towards the right. 33 seconds left on the shot clock here. Pass back up to the top to Hoeing. Hoeing now passing it back up to Jake Bell. Seems like the Tigers might have taken their foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Not much time left. Big lead for the Tigers as well that they've amounted throughout this game. Yep, and with 2.15 to go now and 10 seconds left on the shot clock, they might start to get to work here as Jake Bell is pushed there by Emmett Wood. Three seconds left, and they might just concede this, and they will. They will roll it back into the end zone, and the Cougars will take possession off of the shot clock violation. So Hampton Sydney, like you talked about, Shane, just taking their foot off of the gas here as we head down to the stretch here. As that one will now be given up after the errant pass, Cougars giving this one away back to the Tigers. Tigers going to be able to eat all the shot clock if they want to. So now the Tigers, like you said, have the ball and 70 seconds to work with, 138 on the clock. And just kind of rolling it around as we head to the conclusion of this one. It's been all Hampton Sydney so far, and they're going to get their 10th win of the year. The Cougars going to drop this one at home and fall to 1-2 and two in conference. Just kind of running it around here. Been a great effort, though, from both teams tonight. Cougars trying to make something happen, but the Hampton Sydney Tigers just showed their prowess here. Been in the ODAC for years, showing the experience that they've amounted. Yep, and Hampton Sydney going to continue their impressive season so far. Eight wins over 500 as the clock hits 40 seconds here. Averett's next game is going to be against Randolph-Macon College on Saturday at 1 p.m. That'll be another ODAC matchup. They'll try to get to 2-2 two and two if they can get that one. Clock hits zero on the shot clock, and now 28 seconds to go. So let's see. Averett's going to get possession here and see if they drain the clock out or maybe make a push. Or excuse me, Hampton Sydney's going to take the ball, so... Clock still not starting here. 60 seconds on the shot clock, and the whistle will blow and right back into play, and that will pretty much seal it up as Hampton Sydney will just pass the ball around for the next 20 seconds. 
Tigers found a lot of success tonight on the offensive end. A lot of names on the score sheet for them. Cameron Protzman had a game himself between the pipes for the Cougars, but yep. still going to follow this with a loss here at Daly Field. Yep, so Averett falls to 2-9. and nine. Hampton City improves to 10-2. and two. Averett's next game will be on the road on March 30th against Randolph-Macon College, and then they'll come home on April 3rd to play Ferrum. So once again, Shane Mickle here, Thomas Heaney the third, saying so long, and we'll see you on the next one on the Averett Sports Network. Nova Health has the heart care you need to stay healthy. As a Duke Health affiliate in heart care, they are backed by the latest Duke guidelines and research, providing our community with enhanced quality health care. Whether it's cardiac screening or emergency heart care at their accredited chest pain center, they provide quality treatment close to home. Sova Health, heart care to live your healthiest life. Visit online at sovahealth.com slash heart.